something very strange has happened. I've generated a Minecraft world, and it looks like this. There is just nothing. Nothing for miles upon miles. There are little flashes of colour, you know, we've got a little bit of green in the leaves, and we've got a little bit of blue in, in the sea, but for the most part, it is just, even the squid, even the squid are nothing. Look at this cow. Uh, when I originally first saw him, I was like, oh, that's quite cute, but then he looked at me, and... I don't know, they look kind of a little bit devilish when you remove all their textures. I think it's the little horns. Either way, uh, you get the picture. I have installed a resource pack that removes all of the textures from Minecraft. It is conveniently called Nothing, if you want to check it out for yourselves. And I am going to try my best to do redstone in it, which uh, I've loaded up my redstone toolbar. Could be... Could be more difficult than I was expecting, to be honest with you. I've, I've, I've got some birch leaves so that I can use them for kind of depth, because if I place down a redstone repeater here, for example... <laughs> it just disappears! <laughs> this! Like, I can't even really see how many ticks I'm putting on unless I'm looking at it and the hitbox appears. So I thought I could tactically use some birch things throughout my redstone contraption so I can actually see where I've placed things. <laughs> this is going to be an absolute nightmare, isn't it? This is this is literally going to be a nightmare. Right, where did I place that repeater? I've left it around here, so okay, there it is. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to start things off by doing a double fist and extender. So we need four ticks on this repeater, we need two ticks on that one, and then we need redstone dust that wraps around them. Wow, this is why you need these birch blocks. <laughs> Okay, I think I think we have everything in place that we need. Then we just need two sticky pistons and then a block and then some way to power it. Where, where are the levers? I can see all the buttons. The buttons make sense to me. We've got pressure plates. I have no clue. After a decent amount of searching, I managed to find it and activates. All right, there's the double extension and there is our double retraction. I think you can just about see what's going on there. <laughs> Okay, let's try our best to build something a little bit bigger. Three by three piston door. Let's let's go all out. And I'm going to make my life a tiny bit easier by having an entire world generated out of birch leaves. So now we can actually differentiate the foreground and the background. It's still not going to be easy though, is it? This is... It's hilarious how much I'm having to concentrate to make this work. I can build three by three piston doors in my sleep. I, I can do it all day long. And yet, right now, I am struggling so much. So we've got the Falling Edge Monostable Circuit, that's that. We've got that block there. <laughs> as soon as you start getting even remotely compact redstone contraptions, it just becomes a mess. With that being said, I think I might have done the bottom section, potentially, maybe. Just grab my lever. Okay, and activate that one. Good. Okay, that's good. That means that we've done that first part correctly. Really not quite. Oh. How, what, what is powering that? Oh, 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 we need to redirect this. Ah, I remember now. Yeah, because that hopper... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Bug fixing with no textures. I'm quite impressed with that one. And after a little bit more bug fixing, the main part of the door is now actually fully functional. This is kind of the tricky part of a 3x3 piston door, which is like the central blocks. So now it's just a simple case of adding in the things around it. And to make my life even more difficult, I'm going to try my best to do a spiral door, which it could be a ridiculous decision, which it, it definitely was. In that case, that's the dispenser there. So we have a repeater here that's going to add the spiral into that one. Then that dispenser is going to allow us to take an output from there, which means we can run it into here and here. That's going to add one ticker delay. So hopefully we should have some kind of spiral action going on. Whoop, oh, no, now yes. And I must admit, <laughs> it actually looks really, really cool. It's actually quite nice not having any textures. This final little bit was a tiny, tiny challenge, but I think... We have pulled it off. And I gotta say, I'm actually quite proud of that one. <laughs> I'm really, really proud of that one. I, I'm curious to see what this looks like with textures. <laughs> Look at this horrible world. <laughs> that is, 
This is my most disgusting looking redstone contraption ever. What's also strange is that now the traditional Minecraft textures look really, really busy to me. Like there's so much going on. So I think it's safe to say that that actually went fairly successfully. Now we're going to take it up a notch and we're going to try and build some hidden staircases because I, I love hidden staircases. I don't need to make an excuse. This is my video. I build what I want. Or I guess we build what we want. This is weird. Now at first I thought there was a chance that I wouldn't be able to see the gap in the stairs so we could literally just have it drop down but obviously that is not how the world works. So we are going to have to do some block swappers and things inside this but it shouldn't be too difficult. He says, having just spent an hour building a 3x3 door that he can generally build in about 5 minutes. What's interesting is with this one I'm actually building a new design whereas that 3x3 piston door I, I kind of I'm familiar with it so I'm following the pattern that I have in my head. This one I'm trying to come up with things and that is much more challenging when you can't really tell what you're placing. But I am making pretty solid progress, I have to say, and I think I've got a good strategy for how I'm actually going to be doing this. So first things first, I've got my block swapper up at the top. That's going to be swapping this block for a set of stairs. Now, originally I was going to use Il Mango's new design with the observers and things that's absolutely tiny, but it would start powering pistons and things around it, which wouldn't be perfect. So I've gone for the old school 2012 one, and it seems to be working quite nicely. Then for these stairs down here, I'm actually... All I'm going to do is I'm going to push them all across using pistons. So all of these blocks here are pistons apart from these, which are regular floor blocks. So this is like a flush piston trapdoor setup. So these are pistons that point across, they'll push everything across, then these point vertically, so they'll push everything up so that it's all flush with the floor. And then on the opening when we want the stairs to come across, all we're going to do is retract all of that out of the way and then push the stairs back across so that they're in line like this. So we're not actually going to have any double piston extenders or anything like that underneath the stairs. God, it's so difficult to explain a redstone contraption when you can't even tell what you're looking at. Despite the fact that this is hard enough, I'm also trying my best to keep things compact because that is what my brain is hardwired to do with redstone contraptions. I really, really want to try and make sure that it fits within this, this kind of footprint that I've got here. It's entirely possible. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just so much more difficult when I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, and before all of you redstone super people start going into the comment section shouting that it's not actually that compact in the grand scheme of things. I know, all right? I know that some of you could probably make it about two by two in size, okay? I'm well aware of this. I just, I'd, I'd like it to just be neat. Just have some nice sharp edges, not have excess redstone lying around. Just look cool, okay? Just well contained, I guess you could say. I'm about 90% of the way there right now. I've just got one final bit to do, which is the pushing across of these two stairs here, and I'm struggling so much. It's so difficult. It's so difficult to actually get those pistons powered. In theory, I could power this block right here, but we've got redstone dust directly underneath it. It's a little bit tricky. I could then power a block here. But I just don't know if I'd be able to get the delay in because it needs to happen really, really late. <laughs> I love redstone. Sometimes, sometimes things happen by accident. This is definitely one of the things that happened by accident, okay? I managed to make it work. <laughs> I don't, I'm still not 100% certain how I did it. I mean, it does, it makes sense now that I've kind of thought about it. But I just started chucking observers around, running into the pistons. And it, it functions perfectly. So there we go. We've got a hidden staircase system that's actually quite nice. Have I just placed that there? Yep. Okay. So if we fill in these blocks, I mean, that is, <laughs> you know, this might be one of my better hidden staircases out of all of the ones that I've built. And I've built it without being able to see what I'm building. That, I think we can all agree, is quite something. Anyway, now it's time for the tradition of turning on the normal texture pack. And... Oh... <laughs> oh, you know what I said about this being one of my better hidden staircases? I'm not so sure anymore. This is disgusting. You know what? I think it's worth giving it a go. I said that I wouldn't, but I will. I'm going to try and build some form of flying machine. It doesn't have to be particularly glamorous or, or beautiful or anything like that, but I would feel it was a disservice if I didn't at least give it a go. So let's say fighter jet, that we're gonna try our best to build some form of fighter jet. And actually, I think there is a chance that this could end up looking really, really cool because obviously 
with slime block and honey block flying machines and things, you can see a lot of slime blocks and honey blocks in the build. It kind of ruins it a little bit, whereas this will all be one colour. So it could end up looking amazing when it's flying across. In fact, give me a second. I would really like to be able to use honey blocks in this build. So I'm going to have to update the resource pack a little bit myself, which was actually harder than I expected. It turns out the honey block texture is split into side, top and bottom, which I wasn't really expecting. Anyway, after putting in some work, I now have honey blocks all nothinged up as well. So let's build an airplane. And you know what? If this works, I will be very happy because it looks... It looks really, really good. The only issue is I'm just going through and I'm making sure that all of these blocks match up. So I'm currently pick blocking right now because I'm making sure that these are honey blocks and then these are slime blocks in the middle here. So these should all be slime blocks. That's a slime block. That should be a sticky piston because I really don't want anything sticking to anything. And then all of this is terracotta. So that should slide past the entire contraption. Okay, in theory, in theory, this should actually fly. So I'm going to make a couple of backups and let's see what happens here. I really don't know. In three, two, one, go. Wow, that's a lag spike and a half, but this, <laughs> this actually flies and that looks so cool. That looks seriously so cool. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am I'm ridiculously impressed. I mean imagine seeing that flying past. It almost makes me think there should be the ability to like paint things in Minecraft. So I could paint I could paint the pistons and all the redstone components and everything just straight flat white. So then we can make things like this. Cause this is this looks really nuts. I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I think this is great. This is fantastic. <laughs> I've really, really enjoyed making this redstone video. It's super cool. I might do it again. I might even try take... I mean, imagine a robot. Imagine a gigantic robot without all of the honey block and slime blockness. It just looks solid. Oh, it's giving me all sorts of ideas. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. This was genuinely satisfying. Infuriating, very infuriating. When I first started, genuinely didn't think I was going to be able to build anything meaningful. But gradually, you kind of get the swing of things a tiny bit. You start to pick up how you're placing things and remembering where things are placed. And now, I'm in the rhythm. What? 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 What?